An important feature of every application is the idea of the desktop. You can move documents around by turning off the uh, fill screen. If you change, if you change that to restore, you know, and you get the single block right there <coughs> at the top, you can move your screen to change the size. Now we are going to drag and drop an image from the web onto Paint.net. So let's go get a picture. Let's go get a picture of a monkey. And what we'll do is drag the picture of the monkey onto uh, Paint.net. So let's do uh, let's do this person here. So drag the monkey right onto the page. Open as a new layer. Layer is very important. Layer is very important. Open as a new layer. Click OK. <coughs> now your picture, you should have this on your desktop or something like it. Maximize, Control K to zoom in. Okay, now that we have one image, we're going to go get a second image. That image is going to be the poor student image. Uh, or maybe not. We'll find an image of a cartoon character. So let's go get a cartoon character. Cartoon character. So let's take a look at... Let's take a look. I want to find a character that has a similar positioning of their face. Okay, so... Peter's pretty good choice. So let's drag... We'll drag Peter over. Drag him over. <coughs> Import as a new layer. Expand to fit the imported image. Yes. Click OK. Max is your image. You can see the whole thing. You can see there are two images on top of each other. I'm going to minimize one or I'm going to shrink down grabbing the handles, holding down the shift key. I readjust the size of Peter here. <clears throat> it remains the same size. Two images, two layers. Rocket science. Here we go. Now, by selecting the image and selecting the layer, using the M key, I can move it around. If I hit the M key again, I can still move it around because this particular frame has the marching ants around it. Marching ants means you can move it around. Now, what I want to do is put... Let's see, I'm going to put Peter's face on the monkey. So, Peter's face on the monkey. Turn off the monkey layer. Focus in on my Peter layer. Click on the check boxes to turn layers off. Okay, so, now I have my image. Control D to deselect everything. I'm just going to select Peter's face here. So here I go with using the selection tool. I click and drag around. Click and drag around using the lasso tool. Using the lasso tool. Now to control, I hold down the control key to finish the lasso so that I get just what I need. Control C, M. Control C again. Going to create a new layer. Click on the new layer. Turn off the old layer. Control D, Control V. I've created a new layer and I've just copy pasted onto it. Now, here's my monkey. Turn off my colors. Now I should be able to drag it over. Now, because Peter's face is too large, I hold down the shift key and I shrink it down a little bit until he more or less more or less fits. Now I can see that there's some problems here with the uh, shading. We've lost pretty much everything that looks like a monkey here. So what I'll do is highlight just the area that I want to uh, crop. By using the lasso select, I will select just around the area that I don't want. Control I to invert the selection and out that part. If I hit the delete key, it should all go away. It does. So I just go around and I will cut out everything I don't need on Peter. Delete. Again, holding down the control key. Delete. 
Control, I hold down the, the lasso key, delete, and I can kind of begin to see that maybe I deleted too much on that side. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And now I should have, I'm be, able, I'm be able to see my monkey, a little bit of my monkey underneath. What? A little bit of monkey underneath, and Peter on top. <clears throat> it's a little too large, so I control A. M, and I'll shrink them down a little bit. That's a little better. And I'd say that would about Peter on the monkey. Thank you very much for watching.